Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. In response to a major ruling involving the XRP cryptocurrency, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission recently taken action. The ruling by Judge Annalisa Torres that XRP is not a security, according to CTO David Schwartz, was a huge win for Ripple. Experts and XRP holders have been having an internal conversation over the SEC's recent announcement that it intends to quickly contest the other part of the verdict. David Schwartz, though, reaffirmed his stance on Twitter, insisting that the SEC's appeal is admissible so long as the matter is still pending. This is a one-of-a-kind situation for the SEC, and the lengthy processes can only be explained as an interlocutory appeal. By analyzing the decisions of multiple judges at once, they can swiftly find a solution to the problem. Three simple steps are all it takes for the court to evaluate what the defendants may have done wrong without interrupting the ongoing dispute. But Schwartz cautioned that it should be treated with care that it further dragged down the already tedious legal system. Legal expert Jeremy Hogan, however, maintains that the SEC's appeal is properly a non-motion appeal. Ripple disagrees with the ruling and thinks its main litigation against the SEC should go on while the appeals process plays out. In addition, many in the Bitcoin community interpret Schwartz as a denial of speculation that the SEC will appeal the judge for his order. The crypto expert Jack V. Ripple has stated that the appeal will have minimal effect on XRP. The XRP slash BTC ratio will eventually hit $10,000, despite recent losses. However, many believe the SEC's attack on XRP was planned all along to slow the development of Ripple and provide the door for other companies to develop their own competing technology, thus preventing Ripple from gaining a monopoly in the international payments market. In the event that the SEC's appeal is upheld, there are three possible next steps. The first is that the entire legal issue between Ripple and an SEC lawsuit could be affected if they seek an appeal. Second, the genuine legal process will take longer and be more complicated if the court grants these appeals. However, journalists at Fox Business have not shown any animosity toward the XRP community. Gasper, Reno made it clear that he merely reports on events and does not give financial advice, and Gaspar Purina, the judge in the Taurus case, did not rule in favor of XRP on August 16. He pointed out that his predictions about the overvaluation of AMC and the failure of the FNMA pump before Trump's moves had come true. Gasparini doubts that the recent decision by a judge in South Korea concerning Ripple's XRP was a major victory for the cryptocurrency. He added that Judge Rakoff shared his views. Gasparini had doubts about where XRP was headed. He warns potential buyers, nevertheless, because of the conflicting rulings in the courts. The XR community also has to make these critical steps forward. The general digital currency market has now begun to recover from the persistent bearish slide seen over the past two days. Even if total market capitalization of all digital currencies is down 1.16% to $1.05 trillion, XRP has made a substantial contribution to this downward trend as one of the top all cryptocurrencies. Coin market cap shows that in the past week, the price has dropped by as much as 19% to 50 cents. Because of the recent decline in the market, investors holding XRP saw almost no net benefit. Investors are eager to see if the cryptocurrency will repeat its over 70% increase in value after the recent positive judgment for XRP. Given the current context, XRP bulls require a more targeted catalyst. The ongoing legal battle between Ripple Labs and the SEC in the United States remains a major factor in the direction of XRP. As a result, the proactive measures taken by blockchain payments businesses can help ignite fresh growth triggers. For the asset Yesterday, Judge Annalisa Torres ordered the SEC to file its appeal motion, and Ripple Labs' response will have a major impact on whether or not XRP bulls start amassing the coin in the interim. The meat and potatoes of the argument Up to this point, the crux of the SEC case has been whether or not secondary market sales of XRP constitute investment contracts. 
Experts in the field have stressed that the Dredge Horus verdict is final and that the SEC's appeal would not significantly affect XRP's trading on exchanges. Hence, this completes the, the widespread listing of XRP by the most prominent cryptocurrency trading platforms in the US may herald a new era for the coin. And further development worth noting is that MasterCard, a major player in the international payments industry, has chosen Ripple as its latest central bank digital currency partner. By working together, MasterCard will be better able to capitalize on the growing interest in CBDCs among central banks throughout the world. The CBD spotlight at MasterCard, you can't just make up Cs. Based on their historical performance, CBD seeds have the potential to become market leaders in the near future. To better clarify its place in this disruptive process, MasterCard has launched its CBC Partner Program. Pioneering organizations in the CBD arena are being asked to help central banks learn more about CBDCs as part of this campaign. Aiding in the efficient and well-informed carrying out of plans. Ripple has earned its place as one of MasterCard's CBDC Partner Program's five core partners. The fact that MasterCard has recognized Ripple as a CBDC platform is a testament to the company's dedication to the burgeoning CBDC industry. Ripple's recent CBDC platform launch is a key example of the company's ability to provide innovative CBDC solutions. Ripple's partnership with the Republic of Palau led to the creation of a stable coin that is currently undergoing testing, attesting to the coin's potential. Ripple CBDC advisor and notable public figure Anthony Welfare has voiced his enthusiasm for the relationship and suggested synergy between the two companies. While highlighting MasterCard's extensive network of partners, MasterCard CEO Michael Myback underlined the possibility of expanding the company's CBC partner program to include collaboration with new central banks. The San Francisco-based Ripple team has extensive knowledge with CBC issues. They have expanded their sway through strategic alliances and other measures. There were rumblings early in the year that Ripple was ready to increase its presence in the CBDC market which is predicted to reach a staggering $213 billion by the end of the decade. Proof of their dedication and expertise in this field is their work with countries like Montenegro, Hong Kong, Colombia, and Putin on their respective CBDC programs. In their ongoing legal dispute with Ripple Labs, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has made a significant move by asking the U.S. to certify its interlocutory appeal, the Southern District of New York District Court. Judge Annalisa Torres had given the agency permission to file the motion the day before, and it did so immediately. In its filing, the SEC states it will focus on the judge's ruling on whether or not Ripples can legally engage in programmatic sales of XRP and other disbursements. In her July 13 order, Judge Torres concluded that these exchanges did not constitute XRP as a security asset. The SEC believe a quick appeal is necessary due to the existence of critical legal questions with substantial grounds for dispute. One of the major concerns brought forward by the SEC is the disagreement between Judge Torres and Judge Jed Rakoff, who presided over the SEC's case against terror. When determining whether or not an investment meets the criteria for a security, the Howey test does not differentiate between institutional and retail investors. So says Judge Rakoff. Legal disputes between the US SEC and prominent cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase and Binance are continuing, and the agency has expressed concern that the court's decision involving Ripple's programmatic sales and other distributions could have a substantial impact on those cases. A lot of people were taken aback when the SEC claimed in a motion that XRP and other digital assets are not securities. The government made it plain that this is so since the assets at stake here are merely abstract symbols in a computer. The SEC does not require investors to conduct in-depth analyses of their portfolios. Numerous crypto enthusiasts have responded favorably to this announcement, viewing it as a major step forward. In response to the SEC's admission, well-known attorney John Deaton spoke for the roughly 75,000 XRP holders involved in the cases. He emphasized how vital it is for the judge to rule that the token itself is not a security, as this is the crux of their legal argument. 
He believes that the formal recognition that digital assets like XRP are not fundamentally securities signifies a significant change in the regulatory environment, and on September 1st, Ripple is expected to respond to the SEC is motion, raising the stakes of this important legal dispute and its consequences for the cryptocurrency market. Potentially far-reaching implications for the legal treatment of other cryptocurrencies and their classifications could result from this split. The outcome of this case has the potential to shape future rules for digital assets, thus market participants are watching it closely. This video has already ended, but if you like it, please subscribe. See you in the next video, bye.